Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome once again, as always, to another helping of Mr. H's Art Pot. You join me this evening with little Toby James and Mrs. H in our own kitchen. And this evening is November the 5th, isn't it, Mrs. H? It is, yeah. Now, we had planned to go for a, a family evening out and watch the fireworks, but unfortunately, Mrs. H is a little bit under the weather. So, what we're going to do, we're going to bring it indoors. Now, back in the day, Mr. H always tried to strive for the biggest bonfire and the largest centre pole. But this particular bonfire night, I'm going to go the other way. And we're going to go for the smallest bonfire, and there it is. What do you think, Mrs. H? It's cute. Well, what I think we'll do, I think uh, we'll light it up without further ado, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully, it won't set off the smoke detectors. <laughs> so, uh, let's give it a go, eh? Same old problem, Mrs. H. You can never get them to light. Put some petrol on it. Well, that's the usual thing. There we go. That's got it lit. Bit of a slow burner, Mrs. H. Now, there's one good thing about this. It, the weather can't spoil this one, can it? No, doesn't matter if it rains. And there won't be much uh, cleaning up afterwards. Now, I did try and do this five years ago when I first started this channel. But uh, unfortunately, I tried doing it outdoors and the wind and that got in the way. And in a Steven Spielberg-esque type scenario, I'm now going to give you the video I always wanted to make. There it goes, Toby. I could probably market this, couldn't I? <laughs> If you see them next year, you know where the ideas come from. What do you think, Toby? Your very, your very first bonfire. Eat it. No, it's burning well. It is. I don't think we're getting many spuds on it. No, no. Like I said, you won't need to do any cleaning up afterwards. That was always a pain the following day. Mother's used to make us clean up when we'd have fire. Really, I should have done a Fred Dimmer and let you like that, shouldn't I? the fireworks in the background. Well, Hot Potters, as Fred Dimner would say, did you like that? You enjoyed Mrs H? I did, yes, it was enjoyable. Short but sweet. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoy your bonfire night, and uh, always remember, never return to a firework once lit. So until the next time, from myself, Mr H, and little Toby James, it is, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. It went to again.